Is What's it moving? That? It is moving. Awesome. Do you have a guess as to what it is? I don't. Whoa, I don't have a guess. But oh, oh, oh geez, sorry, that's sorry. Good. Today, I'm going to experience some sea creatures for the very first time. Now, I'm at the Santa Monica Pier Aquarium, and this is Jackie Kanata. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hey, so what's going to happen today? Tell me about the place. Awesome. So the Santa Monica Pier Aquarium, we have all local marine organisms here. So basically, anything you see here in our aquarium, if you went scuba diving off this beach or in the local waters, these are the guys you would find. And so as a part of the local nonprofit Heal the Bay, we kind of see all these animals as our ambassadors of the ocean. So even if you don't have the chance to go scuba diving with them, you can still have a first-hand experience with them at all the tanks and especially at our touch tanks. Oh my God, so this is gonna be very cool then. So I'm gonna be able to touch all these animals because being blind since birth, I've never gotten to see them before. So this is the way I get to see. So I will get to touch them and I think I'm gonna like that a lot better than if they touch me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Before we touch anything, we, I have to let you know that we only touch with two fingers in here. Okay. Just to be really gentle because we don't want to hurt any of these animals. No. Um, but the first animal we're going to touch is called a sea star. Okay. So I'll direct you. The mo most commonly people know it as a starfish. Okay. But they actually, scientists found out it is not a fish. So what does that feel like to you? Oh, it's, so, it's sort of rough. It's mm -hmm. sort of a... Uh... It's sort of bumpy. Uh huh. Is he, it's not moving, is it? No, it's not moving. So they have these suction cups and they stick really hard to the rocks. Oh. And their bodies, like you said, it's rough and bumpy. Yeah. So to be protected. So like it's really hard, just like the rock, so that it gets protected from being eaten by other predators. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And this one in particular is called a bat star because if you notice, you can feel it has that webbing kind of in between each of its legs. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's kind yeah. of webbed like a bat wing. The oh, and that's the rock down there. Yeah, and then you can tell the difference between the rock and the star. And it's called a sea star because when, um, you know, if a kid draws a star on a piece of paper, there are five points to it. Right. And so the sea star has five legs or arms to it. So that's how many, that's why they call it a sea star. It looks like a little twinkle, twinkle little star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what you are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm learning. <laughs> All right, so the next one you're going to be touching is called the warty sea cucumber. Oh yeah. boy, wow, so, this sounds wonderful. So just be very gentle. Okay. And you're in the water, and there it is. So what does uh, it feel like? It's really soft. Uh huh. It's it's very it feels like um, very fragile. Uh huh. It, it feels like oh, wow. It it doesn't. It's very hard to explain. It feels like um. Almost like a balloon with very little air. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's um, it's very it's very strange. I, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. So believe it or not, this sea cucumber is actually the cousin. It's related to that sea star you just felt. Really? But the sea star was super hard, right? Yeah. Um, well, this one's called a warty sea cucumber because can you feel those little bumps on it? Those little bumps. Yeah. 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 So those are kind of little spikes. And, but they're soft spikes, so they wouldn't actually protect it from being eaten. Right. But if something were to look at it and see those spikes, it would be think, oh, it's a spiky animal, I don't want to eat that. But really, oh, wow. the body is nice and soft and really easy to eat. You know, size-wise, how much bigger or small? This is a lot smaller than the sea star, right? Well, if you touch it from this end, this is one end, and if you touch it all the way, so they can kind of shrivel oh, up. Oh, there's a lot of them. So yeah, there's actually that. more. You're only a third of the way there. Really? Yeah, you can go even further down. Wow. Holy cow. Look yeah. at that Yeah. So that's Whoa. the end. Whoa. So it's about, I would say this one's about six inches almost. Like how deep in the ocean would you find this? Um, usually we find them kind of in the sandy bottom area. Okay. Because they will eat through the sand. And it's kind of a fun fact and the kids all go wild about it. But sea cucumbers will actually eat detritus and little particles out of the sand and they'll poop out clean sand. So it's kind of, if you've ever gotten a mouthful of sand, <laughs> yeah, if you've ever gotten a mouthful of sand at the beach, we try to tell people, hey, you've eaten sea cucumber poop. Uh, but don't worry, they made it nice and clean for you. So yeah, that's one of the my favorite facts about the sea cucumber. You're very good at this now. Have you had blind people in here before? Have you ever done this with a blind person? We have. We've actually had a field trip um, with blind students and we've did, done something kind of similar where it's basically having them touch different animals and comparing and con contrasting. Right. Because the best part about being a scientist, and we encourage this to every student that comes in here, is scientists aren't supposed to just look with their eyes. We try to encourage them to, see, to explore with all of their senses. 
So which is why touching is such a big one because we try to tell them that, hey, scientists learn not just by looking, but they also have to smell things. Uh, we don't have our kids taste any of the animals, sure. but we do have them smell and listen to them. And then at the end, we always have them touch our animals. It's very cool that, you know, you're encouraging people to use all their senses rather than just their eyes. I love that. That's very, it's, it's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, it's exciting. It helps them think outside of the box because it just gives a whole new frame of reference and a whole new way to learn in a literally hands-on way. <laughs> This animal is one of my favorites, but Another very one of your carefully. Favorites. I know, gently, I know, they're a kind of all. Okay. But very gently, they're, all your they're going to be touching right there. Ooh. Now, what does that feel like to you? Okay, it's really, it feels hard. Uh huh. It feels. It feel over here. Ooh. Is What's it moving? That? It is moving. Awesome. Do you have a guess as to what it is? I don't. Whoa, I don't have a guess. But oh, oh, oh geez, sorry, that's sorry. Good. No, 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 no. That's all right. That's all so right. So that was I, a back leg moving. Don't worry, it can't okay. hurt you. Okay. Show me again. It's all right. I'm, I'm gonna I be just very specific. Out no, no, no. It's understandable. We're keeping this one a secret, but I promise I won't let it hurt you. Okay. So it might move a little bit. So you're okay. touching the back of a kelp crab. Whoa. So those things that you felt that were moving were its back jointed legs. Wow. And yeah, they eat kelp, which is why they're called kelp crabs. Sure. They actually change the color of their body depending on what kind of kelp they eat. So the kelp crabs that eat green colored kelp turn green. The kelp crabs that eat red kelp turn red. Wow. Um, yeah. So, so that way they can camouflage. camouflage. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we tell the kids it's as if you were to turn the, the color, if turn into like a pepperoni pizza because you've eaten so many pepperoni pizzas. <laughs> so it's a good thing to imagine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I don't think I'll eat sushi anymore. You know what I mean? These are my friends now. How could I eat this stuff? They were so nice to me, so, you know, I'm gonna be nice to them and leave them off my plate. I'll stick with them like a McDonald's fish sandwich. That's not even real fish. <laughs>